I wrote this one when I was in the bath. It took me about 20 minutes, I'm not too sure. Um, Today I woke up feeling the same way, just like I did every other day. I don't know what my tears are trying to tell me. Maybe to tell me I miss my friend. As the seasons come... What was that? Sorry about that. As the seasons come by, I watch with interest as they go. The rain, the sun, the heat, and even the snow. I might not know much, but this I know. I miss my friend. I miss her so. I look up to the sky. I say my prayers. I raise my hands, and when I can, I said, help me, when I'm feeling down, and piece me together, if my spirits ever shatter. Life lasts as long as you live, and believe me, it's the hardest part. But someplace in the dark, I hear your voice saying, I'm always with you. So I'm wondering if you can see me, up there when it was your time to go. Just know I was dying with you. I looked for meaning, but it faded as you did. If the heavens break, I hope that they do, because no matter what, I'll always be there with you. Thank you, thank you. Um, this one, it was rewritten. This is the third time it's been rewritten. I had a little mate Ryan there. He helped me with a little joke in it. So. Hopefully some people get the reference. Dear floating orb of land and sea, known as Mother Earth, I have been here 21 years now, and yet, you're still a mystery. Each year, happiness and memories are created for my brain to indulge in its own delight, like a family, family enjoying their food. Also each year, there is sadness to be found. This is because of the scale known as life. If there is too much happiness, then believe me, sadness is just right around the corner. I want to tip that scale so we, the human race, can be happy. I have with me illicit demands. For the world and for anyone listening, I demand that war stops and ceases to exist because violence cannot be solved with more violence. It only leaves destruction and sadness everyone around it. I demand poverty to be a thought, not reality. For this, I need your help. I need the government's help if they're ever willing. If not, I'll get hold of one billion dollars. If anyone gets that, <laughs> to help them myself. But if that doesn't work, just tell them that there are people who care about them. Lastly, I demand that employers stop discriminating against people for how they look, for their gender, the race, the sexuality, or their beliefs. Because no matter, my, my bad, these things do not matter because we're all human. And that concludes my list of demands. I believe what I asked for isn't too much and isn't too difficult. Apart from the one billion dollars, that might be. Either way, I've been aired by you, the audience. So now I leave the ball in your court. Live life the way you want, but don't use other people as stepping stones. Become their friend and help them live life. Don't be little others, be friendly and kind. So everyone knows the true meaning of friendship. Don't start the fight. Walk away. Because it takes more courage to back down than to stand up. I believe that if we all take heed of what is going to be said tonight, as family, as friends, and as future friends, we'd be helping the thousands of people who are grateful for hearing their cries of pain that have only ever been heard by the silent night. Only when we unite as one and demand what is rightfully ours Will we tip that scale and find the happiness that we truly deserve? Thank you.